Oh my god guys, we have made it to 200 videos on the channel. So today we've got an update on the channel and a Q&A for you guys. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again for the 200th time with a new video. How on earth have I made it to 200 videos? I swear to God I never thought I'd get it this far, but I have. And so, let's get straight into matters today. I'm going to do the channel update first, and then a Q&A afterwards. Some very good questions I've been asked, so stick around for that. And so, uh, first thing on the channel, uh, let's have a look at how we're doing as far as views and um, uh, watch time goes. So, YT page. There you go, I'm rather large. I'm going to move myself out of the way and drag myself down a bit. So, yep, you can see there we're on 24,069 views so far, which is just, quite frankly, incredible. I never thought I'd get over 100 views, if I'm being quite honest. So, yeah, that is very awesome. We seem to be growing about 1,000 views a month, which is quite handy, which is quite nice. Obviously, I'd like to increase that, but that's going to happen in time. And so, yeah, 24,000 views, 372 subscribers, as I'm recording this on the uh, 9th of December. So, hopefully, we can get that number to 400. For, yep, there you go, 400. By the end of the month, that is what I want for Christmas. That's the one main thing I want for Christmas. 400 subscribers, that would be amazing and so as you can see on the channel i've got quite lots of different content at the minute i've got the met please save those thumbnails i understand are quite pants so they're changing those thumbnails are changing and there's a reason why they're changing watch the newest met please episode when it's out tomorrow i think monday i'm gonna try and get it out for i've already recorded it i've just got to get it out and so, yeah, we've got that. We've got that coming. New thumbnails for that. I'm doing the FM League as well. Very awesome. That is, I'm loving that at the minute. Mainly because four games in, zero defeats. Very happy with that. And so, yeah, if we have a quick look at the analytics, as you can see, they're all a bit up and down. There's a bit of a spike there. I think that's when Met Police started, possibly. And so, we've gained 22 subscribers in the last 28 days, which is very nice. If we can get that to one subscriber a day, I'd be loving life. And so views, 939 in, in the last month. But like I say, it's about a grand, about a grand, about a thousand every month. So that's all very awesome. And so let's go back to me comedy club, get myself looking a little bit bigger again. And yep, there we go. And so, uh, big update on the channel, well, biggest. The, the wrestling content is changing. You probably noticed WWE and Pro Evo have stopped for the last few weeks. That's not been intentional. But WWE is finished. WWE 2K19 is done on the channel. Partly because, partly because it takes a long time to edit. It takes a long time to play. It takes a long time to edit. And so... That is ending also because I'm loving the game. I can't stop playing the game. I played a bit of career mode the other day and without having to record it, it was good. So yeah, I'm loving that game. So WWE 2K19 is finished on the channel, but that is going to be replaced as of the new year by Total Extreme Wrestling 2016. It's basically FM for wrestling, if you've never heard of it. And if you haven't heard of it, go on the Grey Dog software website or type it into Google, TEW 2016. That'll bring it up. It's a very awesome game. I think it's about 20, 25 quid, something like that. But it is brilliant. It's so addictive. And so I'm going to be starting a new series on that in the new year. If you have seen it, if you have seen videos of it, my videos are going to be very, very different from most, if not anything, that's been seen before on YouTube with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of editing and a lot of After Effects work 
with it because I'm loving using After Effects these last few weeks. And I think that alongside Total Extreme Wrestling, that could be an awesome combination that could make for a very, very good series. So keep your eyes out for that. Uh, Pro Evo, that is coming back, but it's going to be as and when, as and when I can, as and when I get time. I might record one after this, actually. I've got the house to myself for the, ne for the next hour or two. So I might record a couple episodes of that. And so, yeah, Pro Evo's coming back. WWE's dead. Uh, Met Police, by the time you're seeing this, yeah, it could be one episode. I've got one episode recorded of that. Four games left. Got to win all four of them to keep me job. Keep an eye out for that tomorrow. See if I do manage to keep me job. And so, I think... How was that? That's five and a half minutes so far of waffling about the channel and about goals and things like that. So I say, why don't we get on to the fun bit and start with a QA? and a Alright guys, now it's time for the fun bit. Let's get into the q and A. I've got questions from Sefian, I've got questions from Pavel Plays Games, and I've got questions from Han Mr. Younger. Sefian and Pavel have both asked quite a lot of questions, so I'm going to give Sefian his own section, and then give Pavel his own section, and then Han Mr.'s couple of questions. They're going to come right at the end. So why don't we jump straight in to Sefian's first question, which also has been asked by Pavel Plays Games. So that's rather helpful, isn't it, people? So the question is, why did you get into YouTube? I got into YouTube because I'd been watching Lelujo and Loki Doki's FM series a couple years ago, their FM 17 series, and so I was watching them. And I, when I, whenever I play FM, I always do a lot of talking to myself. I do a lot of commentary just in my own head or just talking to myself. And so um, I was doing it out loud one day. Uh, my other half, Abigail McManigan. Uh, she, she said, oh, you're quite good at this. You you could do that. You could do the same as what Lelujo and what Loki do. So I was going, no, don't be silly, girl. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. So it took her about two, three months to really nag me into getting into it. And so eventually, on May the 1st, I started up my channel. May the 1st, uh, 2017, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. I've been doing it a year and a half now. So, May the 1st, 2017, I uploaded my first video. And I I liked the process. I liked the whole thing of recording, editing, and all that. It was so much fun. So, I've just really kept at it. And it was just something just to keep me busy, really. Just to keep me busy. Just, just a little new hobby to start. So, that's why I got into YouTube. And so, let's get on to question number two it's from Sefian again what got you into West Ham so this is a brilliant question I love this question I am a massive West Ham fan as you probably will know from the channel um, I grew up around the area I grew up in Romford slash Barkingside slash Barking Ilford all that kind of way if you know West Ham land West Ham land that would be an awesome theme park David Gold, David Sullivan, get that done. So yeah, if you grew up around East London that kind of way, you'll know where I'm on about. I grew up all around there, and everyone around there was West Ham mad, but no one more so than my dad. My dad's a West Ham fan, his, his dad's a West Ham fan, and so it's sort of in the family, it's in the blood. We're all West Ham fans, apart from my sister. My sister, can you believe it, is an Arsenal fan. Blah. Cannot believe she turned out to be an Arsenal fan. But that's a different story for another time. So yeah, that got me into West Ham. Uh, and then when I was about seven, I think, seven, eight, something like that, I was just down downstairs from my flat. There was a big patch of grass and all us kids used to go there and play football all day, every day. So I was there one day just playing football with the, with the lads. And then, uh, and then my dad shouted down from the flat, Oi, son, do you, do, you, do you want to go and watch West Ham play today? So I was like, oh, yes, wow. So we went. My very first game was a League Cup tie, West Ham versus Northampton, night game, under the lights, the perfect way to indoctrinate a new kid into the West Ham way of life. The lights, 
at Upton Park were magical. They were amazing. And that is my one of my fondest memories, is walking up the steps to get into the stadium. When you first see the lights, the pits, everything, it was so green, it was so bright. And I I was already in love with West Ham, but by then I was I was hooked. I was hooked so, so much. And so, yeah, I'm a massive West Ham fan. And actually, one second, people. I've got something to show you, people, that I don't think most of you will have seen. Oh, you're not going to see it, are you? Are you going to see it? Yes, you are. My arm's just gone a bit weird, but that is how much of a West Ham fan I am. You can see it there. I had this done on my 18th birthday as soon as I could. I had that done straight away. As, as soon as I, could. I was wanting it for years and years and years. I was going to have the badge just normal, but then, but then my mum decided to have a look at it. She's quite a good artist. And so, yeah, so yes, it, I've got Bobby Moore in the West Ham badge. And so that is pretty much sums up the story of what got me into West Ham. I could talk about that all day long. I've probably talked about that for a bit too long, but whoops. And so, uh, next Sefian question. How did you get so good at commentary? Well, <laughs> of course I'm going to use that question, didn't I? I don't know. I don't know. My missus does always say that I am very good at commentary and she keeps saying to me that I should try and get a job in football commentary, which I don't know about. That's for other people to say if they think I'm good at commentary. That is something I would love, love, love to do. I would love to get paid to go and watch football and yeah, and just talk about it. That would be amazing. I love commentating. I commentate on football whenever I watch it as well. And so yeah... Thank you for that, Sefian. And so, next question is a big one. It's one I have been really hoping somebody was going to ask. And he says, what makes YouTube derision your speech issues go away? Now, as some of you will know, but probably not most of you, I've had a stuttering issue since as far back as I can remember. It's, I, I think as long as I've been talking, I've had a stuttering issue. But for some reason... Whenever I turn on the camera, turn on the mic, and put on a headset sometimes, it goes away. Like, I don't think I've started too much in this video. And so, I think I think it's one of two things. I think it's one, um, the ability to edit myself. Having that safety net, I think that really, really helps. And two, my stuttering issues only mainly come to the front when I've got someone I'm talking to. Like, for some reason, I don't know, but my brain just can't... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'm typical now, the brain's not working as much as I wanted it to. It's like, my brain can't get information from somebody else and then get it back out without having two or three or four things all wanting to spit out at the same time. And so, I think that's mainly, mainly it. If I was with somebody else, I might be stuttering a lot more. But yeah, that is really that. And also, I want to say to anybody who has got a stutter or a stammer or any sort of speech issues, please just hit me up. Please hit me up, talk to me, because I was nervous as hell about starting YouTube with my stutter. So if anybody else has that issue, please come and talk to me. DM me, I will help anybody who has issues like that. And so, n n last two from Sefian. Um, what are your goals for YouTube? Well, we've talked about it a little bit in the channel update. I want to get to 400 by the end of the year. But also, maybe by next year, I want to be on six, 700. That could be quite nice. Because I'm going to keep going at it. And, it's, and I'm not really focusing on sub numbers anymore. I'm focusing on learning new bits. Because when I started YouTube, I, um, uh, I, I knew nothing, pretty much. I, for about a month or two before I started, I was watching loads of videos on editing and how to record on, even on how to use OBS properly, even how to get the right settings and that correct. And so I'm just enjoying learning new things. So that is my goal, just to keep on learning, keep on getting better with this, get, get a better, well, I don't really need a better green screen, but just to get maybe a wider green screen so I can have my camera on 1080 
and also just keep learning keep getting better at editing keep getting better at after effects and so just get better just get more confident really that's what some of my main goals for youtube and also he asks a bit of a two-part question why did you join the youtube helping hands community and what do i think of that community so for those of you who don't know youtube helping hands they have a discord server it's about a hundred people strong now i believe all full of youtube video creators your twitch streamers and game developers and all things like that and it's a very very awesome community it's the best community i've been a part of to be fair i think because in the youtube community you get in the fm community sorry you get one or two little muppets who try and be idiots but i've not had any in the youtube helping hands community everyone's so helpful everyone is so good and i've really really enjoyed it it's one of the best things i've done since joining youtube and so why did i join because i want to get better at the channel because i want to get better at the channel i know there's things i'm not very good at like thumbnails i suck at thumbnails i really really do so i want to join to get advice on that and advice on editing and yeah just all things like that and it's a very awesome community i'm gonna put the invite link down below so if you are new around here somehow or if you're not in the server click the link come join us it's very much worth it i promise you guys so now on to the questions from pavel plays games and his first question is what is your favorite game so ironically for being someone who plays games on youtube i don't play that many games other than sporty games really to be honest so i've got to say uh from a retro standpoint for me there's the obvious ones there's sonic there's super mario blah de blah but from a retro standpoint i loved fifa 97 with the indoor football i keep saying every year fifa please bring back indoor football please bring it back but i don't think they ever will so fifa 97 from a retro standpoint but from a modern standpoint detroit become human is my favorite non-sports game of all time it's an amazing game if you've not played it finish this video and then go and buy it go buy it stick it in your playstation if you haven't got a playstation be like me i bought a playstation and bought the game so do that play it it's an amazing game the story is just brilliant go and check it out and so question number two from pavel what can we expect of you in the next six months so what you can expect to me in the next six months is a lot more fm content pro evo content is coming back i talked about it a bit earlier total extreme wrestling 16 unlike anything anybody's done before i think is coming to the channel and so that's going to be awesome over the next six months and also i don't really like to plan ahead too much because if you plan ahead too much you normally just get disappointed so we're just going to see where this crazy youtube ride takes us over the next six months so yeah that's what we've got to expect and so question number three from him will you be making any changes to your channel just thumbnails really just thumbnails really is all i can think of over the next six months getting this green screen has been a massive change to the channel over the last month or so i think it is i've had it now something like that so yeah that's been the one major change and just just changing my thumbnails trying to get better at that i wouldn't expect too much else other than that to change and so question number four would i ever consider doing a co-op game uh, i don't know like i said i don't play consoles that much apart from obviously what i do on a channel and, and wwe so i wouldn't expect to see too much co-op stuff co-op stuff other than the fm league stuff which is currently going on those are only co-op bits i think you can expect to see maybe that might be something i see in the future yeah i'm never going to say never if i get a cool idea or if somebody else has a cool idea and comes to me with it then yeah i will do 
I will do that and I will say, yeah, I'm not I'm not opposed to it, but I just haven't got any plans for it at the minute. And so next thing he asks, what advice for other people, uh, what advice would I have for other people wanting to get into streaming? Uh, so I'm going to say what advice for other people to want to get into videos, because that's what I mainly do at the minute. And so uh, my only advice is like everybody else says, really, start now. There's never a bad time to start. Like most people would say that when I started doing FM videos, the 1st of May, that's a bad time to start doing FM videos because the game's dying off, the views are dying, but actually the opposite is true. That sort of time, if you're doing FM, is the perfect time to start. Not that there's ever a bad time, but that, that was a perfect time. Because your first 100 or so videos, your first six months, YouTube ignores you. YouTube ignores you like you've got a bad stinking fart going on. And so, yeah. So, yeah, just get into it. Start now. Your first six months, practice. Practice, practice, practice. And then you will get better before you know it. It, it only took me a month or so to get used to watching myself. And that's with my star and with my self-confidence issues. And so if it's, if it's going to take me a month to get used to it, it will take you no time. So really just jump into it now and get involved with whatever community is around your game. Hit people up on Twitter, find Discord servers, all that sort of good stuff. And so, yeah, just get involved. Start now. And next question, what could you improve on? So again, I've already said, main one is thumbnails and also schedule. I am awful for schedules. I just can't keep to a schedule at the minute. Part of that is because of my current living arrangements with my other half and her brother. Uh, my other half, I'm a full-time carer for her and for her brother. My other half has fibromyalgia and she has arthritis and she has a personality disorder. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of work looking after her. Her brother's got autism. And so trying to work everything around that is just sort of not the best. But if that is the one thing I would like to improve on. In order, for, in order those comes to stuttering, blah, 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 in order to keep to a schedule. So that is what I would like. I would love to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to have this video out then. I'm going to have this video out then. I would love to be able to do that, but just unfortunately at the minute, that is one thing I do want to improve upon for next year. And so, what do you think you're doing good at the minute? Uh, what do I think I'm doing good? This is hard. This is, I ask, ask Abby, hit her up on Twitter, at Abby Matt Reads. I hate saying I'm doing anything good, because I just don't think I am, but I must be doing something good. To be able to have the number of subscribers and number of views I have had. So if I've got to say something, it's it's working hard. It's working hard, I think. Working hard at improving the channel, at getting from where I started. Because, to be honest, I started recording videos in the corner of my bedroom, on the bed. Just with a little headset on, no camera, no nothing. So to see where I've come in a year and a half, from there... In order to have, to now having a green screen, a proper mic, a proper webcam. So that's what I think I'm doing good at the minute. Just working hard and just producing original content, I think. Because especially the Met Police Save, nobody else has had that idea, I believe. And I'm really enjoying that series. So I think that's what you can say I am doing good at the minute. And so last question from Pavel. What makes you feel good in life? And so I'm going to say the obvious ones. The missus, she's upstairs at the minute. She makes me feel good in life. Everything is good with us. What makes, that, so that makes me feel good. And just uh, doing this, really, this makes me feel good. There's a lot of things, really. A lot of things I've got to be thankful for. Like I say, her, YouTube, cooking. I've just recently, last year or so, got into cooking. I absolutely love cooking. I love that. And yeah... And yeah, just just that really, that, obviously the usual one's family, blah de blah but yeah, but yeah, that is about it, like what makes you feel good in life, yeah. Yeah, so cooking, her, and so that is all 
from Pavel plays. And now on to Handmister's questions. He's only got the two and they're quite a bit different from the other questions. The first one is, what is your earliest memory of watching wrestling? And so, again, I'm a big WWE fan. I've been watching wrestling since about 96, 97, I want to say. Something like that, since I was six or seven years old. And my earliest memory is of going around with granddads. And he used to have a cable before he had Sky. And so on cable, he could only get WCW and wrestling. So my earliest memories are of watching, and, and already by that time, quite old Hulk Hogan, a Macho Man Randy Savage, and DDP, Sting, all them guys on WCW. That's my earliest memory. And then from there, it's just grown into an obsession, really. And so I've watched loads of videos from back in the 80s. My granddad, again, he used to take us to car boot sales. And so I, I always used to go every weekend, used to pick up two or three different wrestling videos. And I'd go back home, watch them during the week, and then be ready for new ones the next weekend. So that is my earliest memory of watching wrestling. And actually, funny story, uh, when, he, uh, when he eventually got Sky, I, I remember going to his being in his hallway and him saying to us, oh, we can't get WCW no more. WCW no more, sorry. I'm going to leave this in. You know what? For all the stuttering, all the mistakes, I'm going to leave it in just so people with stutters can see. You know what? It's okay. But anyway, earliest memory of wrestling, WCW. Granddad said, can't get it no more. All we can get is WWE, as or WF as it was now, was then. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was really disappointed. I was really gutted because I was really liking w WCW at the time. But then he turned on WWF and it was the likes of The Rock, Austin, uh, who else was there at the time? Taker, Kane, Mankind, Triple H, all them guys. And it was so much better. I couldn't believe we'd been watching WCW for that long. But so, yeah, those are my earliest memories of watching wrestling. And then last question. If given time... Can Manuel Pellegrini qualify West Ham for continental football? You know what? I think he can. He's done it before with Malaga over in Spain. They're quite a similar sized team to us and he got them into Europe. So I think if we give him two, three years, there's no question he can't get us into Europe. We're on a good run at the minute. Three wins out of the last three games. So that's very good to see. And so, yeah, give him time. If the board have patience, then no, then no question whatsoever that we can get into Europe. Might even get into it this year. You never know. So that would be quite awesome. And so, that is us done for the questions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's a bit longer than what it should be. I'm going to cut out little bits and pieces, but not anything of the stuttering or whatever. I'm going to leave all that in. So there should be about 15, 18 minutes, I think. Maybe something like that. So hope you hope you have all stuck around. Thank you so much for helping me get to 200 videos on the channel. It's an amazing milestone. I'm so thankful to everybody that's ever watched one minute of my videos. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. So let's hope that I can get to 400 subscribers by the end of the year. Share this video around. Share my channel around, people. I will love you forever. And uh, if you are new around here, this is going to be a weird one to be new for, but subscribe to the channel down below. Hit the little bell button so you get notified whenever I do release a new video. And yeah, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Join the YouTube Discord. Subscribe to Hard Mr. Pavel Plays and Sefian's channels. Their links are going to be down below. And so yeah, one thing left to say. I am Bad Jokes Gaming. On to the next 200.